You're crushing it. First Shane Dawson, now off hits Joe. Shit. Collab with the craziest people now. You know how we do. Start the intro. <laughs> Got a haircut, feeling a little, a little insecure about it. No, you look really good. You walked in the door, I was like, whoa, who's this guy? Thank you, I feel the same way. Wow! Yo, what's up guys? Um, today, on another episode of Losing Your V-Card with me, Josh Peck, we've got, ugh, it's Joe. Hey everybody, how's it going? Can you believe how lucky we are? You, you are. It's a blessing. Do you know what I was doing in the other room? Tell me. Surfing the internet. Get out of town. And I came in here to do this show. Wasting your life away. Yep. You are now part of a video that very well could have thousands of views. Millions? At least hundreds. Oh! I can almost bet hundreds. Um, for any of you that don't know, Joe is the videographer behind such internet greats as David Dobrik, Liza Koshy, and some lesser known people like Jason Nash. <laughs> Do you want to give away any of the secrets of the people who you work with? Oh god, okay. Do you have any Liza's secrets? Um, Liza talks to herself a lot, so that's always fun to watch. Solid. Okay, you heard it here first. But we did the send me three questions, that was fun, because we did two of them. Really? Yeah, so I love Liza's like, take on it. I thought she crushed it. Yeah. And like everything was what just like... What doesn't she crush, to be honest? I know. The girl's a powerhouse. She's great. She's my hero. Yeah. I you should start a religion. Like what? Kosh? Kosh? Koshentology. Koshentology. I'm kosher. Ha! <laughs> you just came up with that. Wow. You're good. Just right off the top. I can see why you're the host of this show. Basically, if you own the camera, you get to be the host of this show. All right, so this is a show completely dedicated to how someone, my friend, has lost their V-card, their flower, their, their intimacy certificate, their age of innocence. This is beautiful. Was it? I cried. It, you cried? This is a trip down memory lane. Because when you asked the other day, I was like, yeah, sure, it's going to be great. And then for some reason, just with like girlfriends of like the past, I have a tendency to kind of block out the era in for like mental reasons or whatever. We've all been there. Yeah. We all have some relationships we don't want to look back at. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you know who you are, Diane. She's a jerk. Yeah. You heard me, Diane. Is that really her? No. Oh. But <laughs> I thought I'd give the people something to talk about. But like, just any past girlfriend, I've always blocked it out just because you don't, I feel like, especially when I was living in that town, it, like you drive by the bagel store, like that was our bagel store. And stupid me, I made everything like our place, so I, it was impossible to escape her. Okay, so you and your past lover, Yeah. your place was the bagel store. <laughs> okay, so your ex-girlfriend. Right. So your place was the bagel store. No, I guess our place was like everywhere, like the movies, but, Pizza places. But let's say you are at the bagel store. What's what's the order? Everything bagel with sausage, egg, and cheese on it. That was mine. And she would always get. Wow. You, you're coming in swinging. Yeah. Right. It, it was the worst because afterwards I always regretted it. But in the moment, you really embrace it. Right. So it was like a dance that you had to work around. Yeah. Sounds like a great idea until two hours when you're in the bathroom. Exactly. Praying to God. And then at that point, you're like, well, my stomach already feels terrible. I might as well get three slices of pizza. And then you can wash it all down with a coffee culotta. Oh. From Dunkin' Donuts. Those are really good. Shout out. Not sponsored, but wish it was. Okay. So you had your places with your former lover. Right. We're talking the pizza joint. We're talking the local movie theater. Everywhere. Perhaps the local Dwayne Reed. We loved it there. Okay. Cute. Yeah. Tell me more. Now, you project the energy of Oxman, player. <laughs> I was wondering what Oxman was meant. <laughs> Stick man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't think you were having any trouble at your age. Yeah, uh, I was like kind of ugly duckling syndrome. Where I, I don't know anything about that. I can't relate. I know you were you peaked like you're still in your peak. I was hot, you know, when they were like, "Whoa, who's this guy?" Dark-haired Zac Efron, and I was like, "Guys, shut up." <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I, I think I blossomed back when I was like 17, and like I had like long emo hair, Ooh. and I didn't have my first kiss until I think sophomore or junior year. So I was like older. Okay. And then just out of nowhere, I just. Went straight, straight off the landing strip into- Wow. 
a, a bullet train into adulthood. Yeah. So I'm imagining a young Italian Pete Wentz. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'll take it. Long emo hair. Yeah. Bit of a fallout boy energy. Yeah. I like where we're going. Yeah. Please continue to guide us. Um, it all started in senior year of high school. Mm, good and times. Got bit by the bug hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All uh, right. Someone had a free period or two, am I right? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't talked about this in so long, but it, this is the first reveal in a while. But I think we waited like three months. We were seniors in high school. This was a girlfriend? Yes. The girlfriend. I was dating at the time, and we were like hardcore into like the relationship of like boyfriend, girlfriend, like committed, mm. and like, you know, we did other stuff, but then I think around three months or four months down the line, I think that's when it went, it went full throttle. Ooh. And okay, we have a quick question from the audience. Yeah, what's up, Todd? Did you have each other's pictures up in your lockers? I just never really did the whole locker thing. Okay, we have another question from the audience um, in row two, seat seven. There's so many people here. Did you message each other a lot on AOL Instant Messenger? We did. Wow, what was your screen name? My first screen name was Pee Wee 94. Strong. Don't know why my birthday was in 1990. Okay. And my second email was side effect, but it was taken, so I had to do S Y D E A F F A C T. Side yeah. effect. That must have been so fun having to spell for people. It was. My first one was Mr. Money 86. M R Money? M R, Mr. Money. Really? Yeah. What was your first password? It was GC161 which was the chemical that turned Alex Mack into a mutant on the show. <laughs> Secret Alex, World of Alex Mack? Secret World of Alex Mack. Oh man, yeah. that was really your password? It was all I could remember at 10. Yeah. yeah. Mine was milk. So now you guys are dating. Yeah. You've done all the pleasantries. Oh yeah. You're four months down the road of relationship. Oh yeah. How do we get to the big day? Um, I, I think it was planned and I'm pre only say that because I remember setting up candles. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't know we had a romantic over here. Yeah. They're like the, the church candles, like Jesus candles. Not even. <laughs> the long cylindrical ones, so you're about to hook up, you're like, he's looking! And like, I think I set them up everywhere. Classy. And I know my parents weren't home. It was in my room. Okay, And where this is going. <laughs> now, the bed, twin, queen, king, or bunk? I think single. <laughs> a twin? A twin, yeah. So, a little, little, little room. Tight quarters. Oh yeah. Not a big working space. No, anytime you want to lay down, there was always Big Spoon, Little Spoon. Okay, I yeah. like that. Yeah. And who was Little Spoon? I'm guessing... <laughs> this guy. That one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you guys, have you guys spoken about this? I'm pretty sure we did, because otherwise why would I have all those candles already set up? The candles were set, I'm pretty sure I had the movie, I don't remember which movie it was. So I had a DVD ready, it was already in, I remember my bed was over here, the TV was over there, and I knew the direction of where it was going to go. Got it. And maybe it was like 50 first dates. Mm, Dude, where's my car? It was probably a comedy. I don't think it would have been Adam Sandler though. I don't think he would have gotten a so, hot and heavy. So you wanted to do the thing where it's like, oh, that's a good one. Ha <laughs> ha, let's hook up. Oh yeah. yeah. We're enjoying the movie. You've got some sort of Judd Apatow comedy playing, I'm assuming. <laughs> Possibly super bad. You've got your 99 cent store candles glowing. Treating her like the lady that she deserves. See, I'm getting a little hot and heavy right now. Okay. I have some more in my car if you wanna. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Obviously, lights are out, and I think the moment is coming, and one of us, and it wasn't her, got stage fright. <gasps> Yeah! <laughs> Little Joe didn't want to come out to play. No, he was terrified. He was like all in love and the scene had to be perfect and like it was this whole thing and he built it up in his head to be like some massive, some crazy scavenger hunt. It wasn't time. It, no. Little Joe wasn't ready. No. He was like, Big Joe, let's hold off, maybe wait for like date number 74 and then we'll go for it. Okay, yeah. so he went back into your body. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I guess, yeah, I was like, wow, yeah, and so this, so you guys, the act is about to happen, yeah, it just, I just think it wasn't, it, it, it wasn't ready, I you think, weren't ready. I built it up, I have this thing where I build things up too much in my head, where like I type them up, oh. and I, like I kind of like connect certain bridges to try and paint them into the picture of how I wanted it to be, and that was the situation where like I was just like, okay, like it's just gonna happen, and like I like hyped it up and it got too big, I'm like, oh, I don't care. We've all been there. Yeah? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. 
Listen, any guys watching this who perhaps have gotten a bit of stage fright when the big moments are coming, don't feel bad about it, all right? It happens to the best of us. Yeah. And maybe it'll happen twice. Maybe it'll happen a hundred times in a row. But eventually, with the right person, under the right circumstances, that flag is gonna fly. It's and then gonna fly high. And then you'll have a great story to share with Josh Peck on his TV show, Losing Your V-Card. Dare to dream. This all paid off in the end. Yeah, she was totally cool, very understanding. God bless her. Yeah. Thank you for being such a champion. Uh, this is the part that I also blank out on because I tried remembering it a few years ago. I don't remember if it ended up working again that night or the next night. And so you then made a rain check arrangement. Yeah, because we were, we were like already pot committed with this. Like we knew it was going to happen. It was just that first time it built up in my head so much. So you're laying there. It didn't go. It didn't happen. Yeah. And so is there any like um, Chipotle or? <laughs> <laughs> there should have been. Is that my mom? My mom's home. My mom's home. Let's bring mom, my mom. Let's get my mom to come over. Let's bring my mom in to distract from how bad I feel. <laughs> I honestly just like. Especially things like that. I don't really care, and I didn't get embarrassed when it didn't affect me, and same with her. Okay. Um, so, again, I don't remember if it happened again, like if we just went for it that night, like a few hours later and it worked, or the next day. I know it was like right in it, like this couch. So the next night, you're like, this is happening. Yeah. I've got to right some wrongs. I've got to set the record straight. Yeah. We're not coloring in pencil anymore. We're coloring in pen. Sharpie. And it works. Oh, yeah. Great. It worked. Yeah. I remember it being great. And it was great. Yeah. And I think the thing, too, was like, because it was high school and it was towards the beginning of the senior year. And every relationship that was there, like, people would like talk about it. And it was like, oh, are they having sex? Are they having sex? Who's having sex? And I remember it being like a big deal, possibly like around amongst my friend group that like I had sex for like the first time. And like for some reason it was like this big thing and I don't remember why it was like that big of a thing, but it was just a thing. And you were like, Shh. I I don't possess that card anymore. Oh <laughs> I traded I traded that one. I got rid of it. I traded up. Traded it for Charizard. Yep. Sorry, I got a Charizard first edition. <laughs> I'm assuming at, at this point, once you pop the top, are you like, we should do this all the time? Yeah, it happened like um, a lot. I remember it just like constantly being like, just jackrabbits. So eventually when you guys parted ways, yes, were you sort of like, I want to thank you for taking my V. You now have my V forever. You might not have my heart, but you have my card. Was that ever a talk? It's deep. Um, right. Well, she was like my first like love too. Right. So like I was like obsessed, not obsessed, but obsessed. Cut that part out. Yeah, obsessed. We dated for like a year and then like we broke up. But we used to like talk a lot for like a few months and then we had another run and because she was far away at college and I stayed at the community and then I think after that it was just like okay this is obviously going to work. Tried to reconnect, but it wasn't there. Yeah, the distance. So if you had any advice to the hundreds, at least dozens of people watching this, <laughs> what would you say? Uh, if you're ready, go for it. And if you're not ready, just wait. There's nothing wrong with waiting as long as it's with the right person. And be safe about it, whether you do it or don't. Be safe all the time, because it's good to practice safety. It's true. I don't think I use safety. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> Woo! Hey. Thanks for having me on the V Show. What a show. Wow. Jinx. That was incredible. It's been too long in one place. Now it's time to go. Time to fly, Joey.
Right? It's beautiful. It's beautiful, right? You should record it. Did you have any duck when you went to the East Coast? Of course, every time. Did you? Yeah. Ah, oh, God. Of course. It's Miss my it. go-to. It's so you, good. You land in JFK, you go get a Dunkin' Donuts, you know what I mean? They have those flatbread sandwiches, too. Those are my favorite. So good. The best part about landing in New York is, like, how I'm reminded that it's where I'm from. Yeah. And I go to the Dunkin' Donuts, and the girl behind the counter was like, what? What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, good morning. And she's like, what do you want? Yeah. And I'm like, a smile, <laughs> a little bit of cheer, a little sparkle of joy behind those eyes. How about that? And she's like, we don't carry joy. We have coffee coladas and Dunkachinos. Order. Whatever. Shout out to the East Coast. Shout out, Kara. <laughs> um,